All right, so let's get started. And if you remember, we have done uh, up to serial number four, which is the brickwork and superstructure. And then we have some deduction you can see for lentils and then for door, window, and ventilations, okay? And then finally, we got the network work. Now, serial number five, and that's gonna be the PPC work, okay? Which is one, two, four. You can see it in the section over here, okay? This is DPC. And this is, I think, if I'm not wrong, uh, one inches or maybe two inches, okay, thickness. Let's just see it from the annotation. And I'm gonna specify, okay, it is two inches of DPC, okay? So, and if you see the width of the DPC, that is just the same thing as the width of the step two. It means the length of DPC must be the length of the step two. Very simple, okay? And we have already calculated that, okay, the length of the step two. So it's better just to copy uh, the, the things which are actually the long walls and short walls. And let me just uh, copy them with the number and then the lengths. And then we will actually just remove the extra, okay, for the, uh, which are not included in DPC. So if you see, we have wall one and step one. So step one is not required because we we need the step two because the the weight of the step two is just the same thing as the weight of the DPC. Okay. Now for the long wall two, we don't need step number one. So that means we will just remove step number one for each wall. Very simple. Okay. Just do it. Very simple. And for short wall two, we have step number two and step. No I think this is step number one. Okay. Let's just confirm it. We have short wall two. This is step number one. Okay, I'm gonna rename it. Does not matter. Okay, so let me just remove the first one, and then for short wall three, step number one can be removed, and for short wall four, step number one can be removed. It means we have the length for step number two. Okay, it means the DPC's length for each step, uh, which means for each wall, you can say okay, because we had different uh, walls who were here, long wall, short walls. So it's very simple. Now the weight of DPC is just the same thing as the weight of the step number two. Okay. And that is, if I'm not wrong, two feet only. Okay. I'm going to confirm it from here to that point. That is two feet. Okay. The weight of the DPC, that is actually two feet. So we're going to put it two here. Very simple. Okay. Two for each. Okay. Very simple. Now, the height of the thickness of DPC that is never included in abstract of materials, however, in analysis, then we may convert that over there, okay? So the quantity can be actually uh, in terms of area now, like the breadth times the breadth, uh, length times the number of the walls, okay? So this is going to be the quantity of DPC. This is gonna be in SFT or in area, okay? And let's just uh, apply the same formula to all, and I'm gonna remove the zero, because there are no values in ROS, okay? So even you can copy SFT uh, to both, uh, you can say to each uh, uh, RAW, okay? And then remove the extra, very simple. Okay, so that means let's just select extra cell and then uh, the sum, and so we can get actually the total DPC work over here. Okay, I'm going to merge and center the raw and cells over here. And we have, let's say, uh, total DPC work. Okay, very simple, which is one, two, four, and one inch thick DPC. So it's very clear. And let me just uh, color this thing so you guys can see it clear, okay? And the DPC work is in another color like this one. Okay, now number five, uh, and, sorry, number six, and let's just see the section, okay? Uh, we have uh, calculated the, um, you can say, uh, breadwork in superstructure, uh, all, uh, you can say before, okay? And let's say if it were in the, we have uh, the column, so we will calculate the quantity of RCC work, it means, okay? And we will include the column as well, okay? So let's just calculate RCC work, which is going to be one, two, four. The RCC work can be in different places. 
okay it is in staircase it is in column and then in slab you can say and we're here this this is not rcc work it is just pcc 136 we have already covered it this portion is already covered okay however this portion is rcc in rcc let's just uh cover like maybe the the lentils okay lentils are rcc and we have already calculated them so we will actually copy them okay so the rcc actually are lentils right and let me just copy them so we have in separate place does not matter okay copy them and paste them over there okay it means lentil for window one lentil for window uh, door one for door two for two three okay very simple now we will actually add them all uh, let's not add them okay because we don't need to add them all over here we will just add the total rcc work okay at the end no problem so it was just for the lentils now let's say uh the rcc work for columns okay and we have only one column and if you see the column is something very different you can see it is isolated footing okay uh, you can say press them up on at this section and if you remember we have already used a very simple formula uh, in the very uh, first or maybe second session okay so for the column i'm gonna say column foundation and then uh, just the column okay and then the columns here okay so we have three things over here foundation is one column is one by itself the cape is just one in the columns foundation if you see this is isolated footing so we will do it a little bit uh, later however look at the column the section is just one by one feet okay it means the area that is just one by one okay column however we'll take actually the height and let's see uh, uh, if the height is just 11 feet or something more okay so i'm going to confirm it from here make sure it is known in the uh, drawings okay so it is 10 feet and 6 inches because 6 inches may be the cape okay so 10.5 now the the cape let's see let's see this is the cape you can see it over here okay and it is uh, 1 feet and 6 inches of course 6 inches is thickness okay thickness is just 6 inches or 0.5 and 1 feet and 6 inches it means 1.5 is the length okay it is just square so the sides can be the same very simple we can just apply the same formula but before uh let's just apply it does not matter okay 10.5 for the column and for the cape 1.125 however the uh columns foundation that is something very tricky you can see okay and if you remember there is a nice plug and chicken formula for that for first dump up uh, pyramide and let me just uh have its coffee so you guys can see it then okay and okay let me just move it a little bit above so then we can see it in uh, excel i'm gonna take a screenshot so we can see it okay all right let me just take a screenshot so i can import it over here and then you guys can understand it very clearly okay now okay here is the screenshot this is in isolated footing and in isolated footing uh, if i can decrease the size you can see it okay now we're here the length width and height i'm gonna in ignore all those things however we will just uh, apply a simple formula over here okay so let me just merge in center now the thing is actually to uh let's take equal and then uh, the depth of the you know footing you can say which is one feet and six inches you can see it it is 1.5 okay however it's good to start it with the bracket 1.5 and then uh, we will multiply this with the top area which is one by one okay so one by one is just one however if there is different you have to multiply that like uh, that is one by one so it means one by one if that is two by two it means two by two or just four uh square feet okay very simple and we will add actually the bottoms area which is three by three you can see it okay three by three there is just the dimension no three so three by three there is just nine and again we will add it and we will apply a square roots formula because we have square root uh top area and then bottom area so top area is just one multiply it with the bottom area which is nine okay and close the bracket however 
Uh, if you see, uh, we might have a bracket over here. Okay, it start because this is Excel. And then we will actually, let's close it over here, okay? Like this. And even we will just divide this by three because the formula is like uh, D by three uh, into A1 plus A2 uh, plus square root A1 and A2, okay? Press enter, okay, let's, uh, they will rearrange because this is, uh, uh, there we have actually the multiplication, so multiplication sign must be provided over there, okay? So the volume of this prism uh, uh, pyramide portion, uh, sorry, uh, yes, prism of pyramide portion, that is 6.5, okay? So it means the quantity is going to be the same thing as 6.5. It must be in CFT because this is concrete, okay? And of course, CFT free for the others. So I'm gonna remove the screenshot now. We are done with the quantum. Now, I think we should uh, move to the slab, okay? because there is slab and then we have staircase. So it means the RCC work then might be completed. Now, however, we're here, we have uh, another thing, which is actually the veranda. We might take that as well, uh, which is maybe in, in terms of feeling, feelings, okay? Because the ground level, if you see, the ground level is just over here, okay? And uh, if you see, the ground level in the column, it is just, you can say, one feet above the, uh, I mean, the, the excavation is just uh, two feet, okay? So, uh, if that is different, uh, however, they, they are not different because nine, nine, that is just 18, and plus six, that is 24. So, it means the, the surface is just level. However, uh, if there is any beam, okay, in, in the project, you might need a refilling for a date, okay? So uh, you have to then calculate uh, date things are included in the abstract of materials. Okay, let's just see. We have a uh, slab then, and in slab, the slab is just one. However, the size, that is, if you see, we have 27 feet and six inches, so 27.5, one side. And another side, let's see, that is 34 feet and 9.4 inches. So you're gonna convert that 9.4 inches into feet, which is 0 0.7 almost, and then add uh, 34 with it. So you can get 34.7, okay? Like 34.78 almost. All right, the thickness is just the same as the thickness of the column scape, which is six inches or 0 0.5 inches, okay? Just break the formula. However, there is a hole for the staircase, okay? We have staircase over here. So for the uh, first floor, there is hole over there. You can see that, okay? So we will subtract this, or you can say, let's say we have deduction. Deduction for stairs hole, you can see. Or empty portion, you can say it does not matter, whatever you call that. In number that is one, the length is uh, 11 feet three inches, so 11.25. If it is six inches of permanent wrong, yes, that is six inches. So we have six inches were, uh, feet, that is feet, not inches, okay? And height must be the same. Let's drag the formula and the units are just in CFT, okay? So, before calculating the, the deduction, it, it is really important just to calculate the total uh, RCC work, okay? So, let's say we have total RCC work, and we will just add them all by the summation. And, of course, now we can subtract the uh, deduction. So, it means we can say there is, oops, just a minute. We can say that there is net RCC work now, okay? So net RCC work. And this is going to be equal to the total, and we will actually subtract the deduction, okay? And press enter, and let's just drag the CFT. So this is actually the net RCC work, which is actually the quantity, okay? And let's say we're gonna color them as well. Almost, um, but however, in RCC work, stair is still remaining, okay? 
you have to count stair as well. All right, so stair is just remaining and then I think our quantity is completed and then we will just uh, move to the chajja. Okay, let's, let's just calculate chajja and then of course we will add stair over here, okay? Maybe uh, in the next video, okay? So the, the total is not yet completed. I'm gonna insert one in another thing. Let's say for the stairs, okay, we're here. Insert and let's say RCC stairs. And then we will just calculate it tomorrow. Okay, and then add them over here with this thing. It is not now a total work and the net RCC work is not available. Like you can say that, okay. So uh, the thing which I'm gonna calculate is actually uh, serial number seven because stair is little bit complex thing. So we will cover that tomorrow, okay. Uh, now we, we, we have already spent enough time in the same session. Okay, number seven, we have, uh, you can say, chajja or parapet walls, okay? That should be actually the parameter of the slab, very simple. You can see this is parapet wall, okay, this. And it is, you can say, uh, the parameter of this slab. You can even just confirm it by control one, okay? It is over here, if you see the length is 124 feet, okay? And we will just, uh, you can say, confirm it over here again, like you can say, this is 34 feet, 9.4 inches, but we have two sides of the rectangles. We will multiply that with two, which may become actually uh, almost 70 feet, okay? And then we will add this side, which is 27.5, uh, and then the other side, like this one, which is, again, the same because this is a rectangle. So this is going to be 27.5 again. So the parameter is 124, uh feet and almost six or seven inches okay this is a number the length is 34 and six inches means 0.5 okay now this is going to be in a running feet okay rft because uh chajja is never calculated in terms of area or maybe volume okay it is just in terms of uh rft very simple uh we have done uh today actually the tpc then the RCC work, okay, and then the Chajja work. Tomorrow uh, is going to be like uh, the final day for the abstract of materials, and then uh, another day we will just calculate the cost of different materials, uh, okay, from the MRS, okay. So tomorrow we have actually the RCC work for the stair, and then we will have DPC, okay, like number seven, and then number eight can be, uh, sorry, uh, the, the plaster work, not DPC, the plaster work, and then number 10 can be the whitewashing or maybe paint, you can say anything because this is surfacing. So uh, we will cover these things tomorrow, inshallah. Allah is. Chaja ka estimation case and again. Chaja running feet. Yet or running feet me. Running feet me hai na ye. As a chaja concrete ka bhi ho sakte or peer break ka bhi ho sakte na. So running feet, running feet ka matlab kya hai ke uh, kuch uh, quantities ko hum volume mein calculate karte hai, kuch ko areas mein, thik hai, kuch ko number mein, kuch ko running feet. Running feet matlab in feet, matlab length sirap hum count karte hai chajja ki. Ab pipe ko dekhe na, pipe ka bhi hum length count karte hai na. Jis tarah pipe ka length, jis tarah pipe ka length count karte hai, jis tarah chajja ka bhi length count karte hai hum. Yes sir. Analysis may be different MRS may. 